Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm, and I want to show you a little bit about Nmap. And I know I've done other videos on this, but this one's going to be about reporting and output. So Nmap.org, you can go get um, Nmap, and people run it for port scanning, uh, subnet scans, all sorts of stuff. I'll leave that all up to you. But the big thing is um, how we try to capture that output. So let's just do something real quick. So I'm going to Nmap something here in the office. There we go. This happens to be a printer. Just be careful because sometimes devices don't like to be scanned. Obviously, it should be your own device that you trust that you know, and you're not going to cause any uh, red flags to fly off at work. So it's done, right? And, and this is pretty typical output. Now, I want to show you something that I like to add to this. Dash packet uh, trace. Enter. So now it's going to do the same thing, but provide a little bit more of a verbose packet level output. And that's kind of cool because sometimes you don't have Wireshark or you don't have to capture packets, but you're kind of curious as to what's being sent over the wire. And that's an example of a lot of stuff coming back. So in this particular case, you want to capture that output. So people from the command line Windows environment will be tempted to just put a greater than sign and a file name. Well, that's not going to work. All right. So how do we capture the output? Well, if I just type nmap here, you'll see in the output section, it actually tells you here that you can use O N O X O S N O G. And what do they do? Well, they give you different formats. And and it's it's pretty obvious what it is because it'll say like O N is normal, that's the N. X is XML. S is called script kitty. I'll show you that in a moment. And G is greppable format. So I'm going to bring those files up right now. Let's see if I got them up already. I don't. So let me just get that real quick. And there they are. So ON is normal. As you can see, it's exactly what I saw on the screen, right? Including the output at the end. So X, obviously XML. It even has it here in the header. So you can use that if you'd like to, you know, extract stuff in an XML format. G is in a greppable format. Uh, if you use awk or diff or whatever you want to use. Uh, and then lastly is good old S, and that's a script kitty format which again is kind of a summation, a summary of what just happened. So there's your four options and I strongly encourage you to give them a try and play around with them so you can capture your output in whatever format you need. Have a good day. Bye for now.